Welcome to Quiz Time. I'm Sean, your quiz master, and I've got 100 questions about the 50s, 60s, and the 70s. Let's see what you remember and give your brain a workout, shall we? Let's begin with question number one. Who was the reigning monarch of the United Kingdom at the beginning of the 1950s? Was it King George V, King George VI, or Queen Victoria? At the beginning of the 1950s, the king was George VI. Who was the British Prime Minister who led the country during the Suez Crisis in 1956? Was it Harold Wilson, Clement Attlee, or Anthony Eden? The Prime Minister of the UK was Anthony Eden. Which British film released in 1962 featured the character James Bond for the first time? Was it Dr. No? Was it From Russia With Love? Or was it Casino Royale? It was Dr. No. Which English rock and roll singer is known for his hit song, Rock Around the Clock? Was it Elvis Presley? Was it Chuck Berry? Or was it Bill Halley? It was Bill Halley. Which English author wrote the popular 60s children's book, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? Was it Roald Dahl, Beatrix Potter, or Roald Dahl? Looks like it's 50-50. It was Roald Dahl. Who served as Attorney General under President John F. Kennedy? Robert Kennedy? Ted Kennedy or Richard Nixon. The Attorney General under John Kennedy was his brother, Robert Kennedy. Not a multiple choice. Which Southeast Asian country became independent from French colonial, colonial rule in 1962? Southeast Asian country independent of France in 62 would have to be Laos. In 1969, what treaty banned the spread of nuclear weapons to Latin America and Caribbean countries? Treaty of Pelandaba, the Treaty of Tlatelolco, or the Treaty of Rarotonga? It was the Treaty of Tlatelolco. Who was the vice president who replaced Spiro Agnew after he resigned in 1973? Was it Gerald Ford? Was it Nelson Rockefeller? Or was it Walter Mondale? And that would be Gerald Ford. In 1976, which African country experienced the Soweto uprising against apartheid education policies? Was it Angola? Was it Zimbabwe? Or was it South Africa? It was South Africa. Which European country underwent a peaceful Carnation Revolution in 1974? Was it Spain, was it Portugal, or was it Greece? That country was Portugal. What event marked the end of the Vietnam War and the reunification of North and South Vietnam? Was it the Battle of Khe Sanh? Was it the Tet Offensive? Or was it the Fall of Saigon? That was the Fall of Saigon. Which 1975 movie directed by Steven Spielberg made people afraid of the sea? Was it Jaws? Was it Close Encounters of the Third Kind? Or was it E.T. the Extraterrestrial? It was Jaws. Bob -um. Bob -um. Which 1976 movie told the story of a boxer who overcame incredible odds to become the heavyweight champion of the world? Was it Raging Bull? Was it Rocky? Or was it The Fighter? It was Rocky. Who directed the 1960 classic film Psycho? Was it Alfred Hitchcock? Was it Stanley Kubrick? Or was it Francis Ford Coppola? 
it was Alfred Hitchcock. Not a multiple choice. Which character portrayed the iconic character James Bond in the 1960s films? In the 1960s films, it was Sean Connery. Which legendary guitarist, known for his virtuosic playing, was a member of the rock band Cream in the 1960s? Was it Jimi Hendrix? Was it Eric Clapton? Or was it Jimmy Page? It was Eric Clapton. What Motown record label trio achieved great success in the 1960s with hits like Baby Love and Stop in the Name of Love? Was it the Ronettes? Was it the Supremes? Or was it the Shirelles? It was the Supremes. What 60s TV series featured a futuristic family living in space and had a robot named Robot B9? Lost in Space, The Jetsons, or Star Trek? Danger, Will Robinson. It was Lost in Space. What 60s TV series set in the Old West featured James Arness as Marshall Matt Dillon? Rawhide, Bonanza, or Gunsmoke? It was Gunsmoke. In 1952, which Canadian province officially joined the Confederation and became the 10th province of Canada? Saskatchewan, Newfoundland, Newfoundland and Labrador, or Prince Edward Island? It was Newfoundland and Labrador. In 1957, Canada's government introduced a distinctive new flag for the country. What is this flag commonly known as? The Maple Leaf Flag, the Red Ensign, or the Union Jack? That would be the, uh, the Maple Leaf Flag. Who served as the Prime Minister of Australia for most of the 1950s, holding the office from 1949 to 1966? Robert Menzies, Harold Holt, or John Curtin? That would be Robert Menzies. Not a multiple choice. During the 1950s, which German city served as the provincial capital of West Germany until Berlin was finally accessible again? That would be Bonn. Which German-born actress is known for roles in Hollywood films such as The Blue Angel and Witness for the Prosecution in the 1950s? Romy Schneider, Darlene Dietrich, Marlene Dietrich, or Ursula Andress? Marlene Dietrich. What famous 1970s children's book by Michael End tells the story of a young boy named Bastion who becomes part of a magical adventure? Pippi Longstocking? The never-ending story, or Heidi. That would be the never-ending story. What international organization was founded in 1957 with the aim of promoting economic cooperation and integration among European countries? The United Nations, the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, or the European Economic Community? That would be the EEC, the European Economic Community. Which Asian country was divided into North and South following World War II and experienced a civil war in the 1950s? Japan, China, or Korea? That would be Korea. What was the name of the 1957 film that starred Audrey Hepburn as a princess who escapes her royal duties to explore Rome? Roman Holiday, Breakfast at Tiffany's, or... Sabrina, Roman Holiday. Who directed the classic 1950 film, All About Eve, which received 14 academic award nominations? Frank Capra, Billy Wilder, or Joseph L. Mankiewicz? Joseph L. Mankiewicz. 
which animated Disney film released in 1959 tells the story of a princess cursed to sleep for eternity? Sleeping Beauty, Cinderella, or Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs? It is Sleeping Beauty. Which film, released in 1955 and starring James Dean, was a classic of the rebellious youth culture? Rebel Without a Cause, East of Eden, or The Wild One? It was Rebel Without a Cause. In 1956, which French singer released the hit song, Meme Qui Pa, which later became an international sensation? Edith Piaf, Charles Asvanavour, or Jacques Brel? Jacques Brel, and please forgive my French. Which legendary baseball player played for the New York Yankees and became known as the Yankee Clipper? Babe Ruth, Mickey Mantle, or Joe DiMaggio? The Yankee Clipper was Joe DiMaggio. Not a multiple choice. Who was the American athlete who won four gold medals at the 1956 Summer Olympics in Melbourne? That was Bobby Joe Morrow. Who is known for creating the first interactive electronic game, Tennis for Two, in 1958? Nolan Bushnell, William Higginbotham, or Alan Turing? That was created by William Higginbotham. In 1974, which Australian film depicted the mysterious disappearance of a group of schoolgirls and their teacher on Valentine's Day? Mad Max, Picnic at Hanging Rock, or Muriel's Wedding? That was Picnic at Hanging Rock. In which 1950s film did Marlon Brando famously say, I could have been a contender? The Godfather, A Streetcar Named Desire, or On the Waterfront? That was from On the Waterfront. Not a multiple choice. Which Australian actor starred in the classic 1979 film Mad Max, which became a cult hit and spawned a successful franchise? That was Mel Gibson. Who recorded the 1971 hit song Imagine? known for its message of peace and unity. John Lennon, Paul McCartney, or George Harrison? That was John Lennon. In 1975, which American rock band released the album Born to Run? The Eagles, Bruce Springsteen, and the E Street Band, or Leonard Skinner? Bruce Springsteen and E Street Band. Baby, they were born to run. What American 1970s TV series featured a single mother raising her two teenage daughters in Indianapolis? Maud, One Day at a Time, or Rhoda? That would be One Day at a Time. Which one of these African countries gained independence from Portugal in 1975? Namibia? Mozambique or Zimbabwe? That would be Mozambique. Who was the Soviet Premier during the 1979 invasion of Afghanistan? Mikhail Gorbachev, Alexei Kozygin, or Boris Yeltsin? That was Alexei Kozygin. Not a multiple choice. What major international incident involving U.S. hostages occurred in the city of Tehran in 1979? That event was the Iran hostage crisis. Not a multiple choice. Which U.S. president signed the legislation that ended the convertibility of the U.S. dollar into gold in 1971? 
That would be Richard Nixon. What event in 1972 marked the beginning of diplomatic relations between China and Japan? The Sino-Japanese War, the signing of the Treaty of Taipei, Richard Nixon's visit to China. That would be Richard Nixon's visit to China. What American fast food chain introduced the Egg McMuffin breakfast sandwich in 1972? Was it Burger King? Was it Taco Bell? Or was it McDonald's? The McMuffin by McDonald's. In 1978, which American car manufacturer introduced the downsized Cadillac Seville, a luxury compact car? General Motors, Ford, or Chevrolet? That was released by General Motors. In 1978, which German company introduced the first mass-produced turbocharged sports car, the 911 Turbo? BMW, Audi, or Porsche? That was Porsche. In 1962, which African country declared its independence from Belgium, leading to a violent struggle and political instability? Nigeria, Rwanda, or Ethiopia? That was Rwanda. In 1969, which country declared its cultural revolution, resulting in significant political and social upheaval? Was it Japan, was it China, or was it South Korea? That was China. In 1967, which one of the following countries faced a military defeat in the Six-Day War? Syria, Iraq, or Iran? That was Syria. In 1962, the United States imposed a trade embargo on which country, leading to increased tensions during the Cold War? China, Cuba, or the Soviet Union? That was Cuba. Which U.S. government agency was created in 1965 to provide health care coverage for elderly Americans? Medicaid, Social Security, or Medicare? That program is Medicare. Which 1960s TV series featured secret agents Napoleon Solo and Ilya Kuryakin working for UNCLE, Get Smart, The Man from UNCLE, or the fugitive. That would be the man from Uncle. Who played the role of Captain Kirk in the 1960s TV series Star Trek? Leonard Nimoy, William Shatner, or George Takei? That would be William Shatner. What college basketball team had a historic undefeated season in 1966, led by coach Don Haskins and played by Jerry Armstrong, the Kentucky Wildcats, the Texas Western Miners, or the North Carolina Tar Heels? That was the Texas Western Miners. Who was the first African American to be drafted by an NFL team in 1967, breaking the league's color barrier? Was it Jim Brown? Was it O.J. Simpson? Or was it George Taliaferro? That was George Taliaferro. Not a multiple choice. What American company, founded by Robert Noyce and Gordon Moore, played a crucial role in the development of the integrated circuit and microprocessor? Intel was the company. In 1957, what political position did Luis Carrero Blanco hold? Under Secretary of the Presidency, Foreign Minister, or Minister of Defense? Carrero Blanco was the Under Secretary of the Presidency. Which iconic 1950s Spanish fashion designer was known for his avant-garde designs and contributions to haute couture? 
Paco Raban, Cristobal Balenciaga, or Manolo Blahnik. That was Cristobal Balenciaga. In 1955, which Dutch musician and conductor became the chief conductor of the Concert Gebouw Orchestra in Amsterdam? André Rieu, Bernard Haitlink, or Gustav Leonhardt? It's Bernard Haitink. In 1968, which Japanese author won the Nobel Prize in Literature for his novels Thousand Cranes and The Old Capital? Yukio Mishima? Yasunari Kawabata or Haruki Murakami. It was Yasunari Kawabata. Who was the chief minister of West Bengal during the 1950s? Rajendra Prasad, B. R. Ambedkar, or Bidan Chandra Roy? It was Bidan Chandra Roy. Which U.S. Senator led a campaign in the 1950s to identify and remove alleged communists from government and other institutions? Was it Joseph McCarthy, John F. Kennedy, or J. Edgar Hoover? Joseph McCarthy. Who was a legendary boxer known as the greatest and the champ in the 1960s and 70s? Was it Joe Lewis, Muhammad Ali, or was it Sonny Liston? The greatest, the champ, that was Muhammad Ali. What type of shoe, often associated with the 1950s fashion, featured a chunky heel and a rounded toe? Were they ballet flats, loafers, or saddle shoes? Those were saddle shoes. What fashion item, introduced by Christian Dior in the 1950s, featured a fitted bodice and a full voluminous skirt, little black dress, jumpsuit, or new look? That was the new look. Not a multiple choice. What historic event occurred on December 1st, 1955, when Rosa Parks refused to give up her seat on a bus? That was the Montgomery Bus Boycott. Which African-American author gained fame in the 1960s with her autobiography, I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings? Maya Angelou, Toni Morrison, or Zora Neale Hurston? Maya Angelou knows why the caged bird sings. He sings for freedom. What American car manufacturer produced the classic Thunderbird sports car of the 1950s? Ford, Chevrolet, or Pontiac? That would be Ford. What innovative safety feature, developed by Volvo and introduced in the 1950s, became standard in many cars? Airbags, seat belts, or crumple zones? Seat belts. What was the name of the British luxury car manufacturer that introduced the classic model Silver Cloud in the 1950s? Was it Rolls Royce? Was it Bentley? Or was it Aston Martin? It was Rolls Royce. What popular British dish? consisting of sausages served with mashed potatoes and gravy, became a staple comfort food in the 1950s. Toad in the hole, bangers and mash, or bubble and squeak. Hmm, bangers and mash. I'll have to try it. Which American beverage company is known for introducing the first diet soda, Diet Right Cola, in the 1950s? Was it PepsiCo? Was it Dr. Pepper's Snapple Group? Or was it Royal Crown Cola, RC Cola? It was Royal Crown Cola, otherwise known as RC Cola. Which American company introduced the first credit card with a magnetic strip in 1970? Was it American Express? Was it Visa? Or was it MasterCard? 
It was American Express. In 1958, which American automaker introduced the Edsel, a car that became synonymous with marketing failure? Chevrolet, Ford, or Buick? It was the Edsel Ford. Ford Edsel. Ford Edsel. What watchmaker introduced the world's first quartz wristwatch, wristwatch, the Aston in 1970? Swatch, Seiko, or Rolex? So easy for me to say. Seiko! In 1971, which Italian fashion brand introduced its iconic GG logo pattern on products like handbags and luggage? Dolce & Gabbana, Versace, or Gucci? That was Gucci. In 1972, which American astronaut became the last person to walk on the moon during the Apollo 17 mission? Neil Armstrong, Alan Shepard, or Eugene Cernan? That was Eugene Cernan. What Soviet space station launched in 1971 became the world's first space station to orbit the Earth? Was it Skylab? Was it Solute 1? Or was it Mir? It was Solute 1. In 1965, which European country launched its first satellite, Asterix, into orbit? Was it France? Was it Germany? Or was it Spain? It was France. Who directed the 1973 horror film, The Exorcist? Alfred Hitchcock, Roman Polanski, or William Friedkin? That director was William Friedkin. In A Clockwork Orange, the protagonist, Alex, has a strong affinity for which classical composer's music? Beethoven, Mozart, or Bach? He has an affinity for Beethoven. What is the title of Fleetwood Mac's 1977 album that includes the songs Go Your Own Way and Dreams? Rumors, Tusk, or Fleetwood Mac? That was the album, Rumors. In 1972, which American soul singer released the album, Superfly, featuring the soundtrack for the film of the same name? Was it James Brown? Was it Marvin Gaye? Or was it Curtis Mayfield? It was Curtis Mayfield. Who recorded the 1973 album, Band on the Run? known for its title track and Jet, Paul McCartney and Wings, George Harrison, or Ringo Starr. That was Paul McCartney and Wings. Which 1970s American TV series followed the lives of a working-class African-American family in a Queens neighborhood? The Mary Tyler Moore Show, Maud, or The Jeffersons? That was the Jeffersons. Moving on out. Which American TV series, which premiered in 1979, featured the character Frank Ferrillo, a police captain in a fictional urban precinct? Hill Street Blues, Cagney and Lacey, or Barney Miller? That was Hill Street Blues. What was the nickname given to Lyndon B. Johnson's set of domestic programs? The Great Society, the New Deal, or the Fair Deal. Lyndon B. Johnson pursued the Great Society. Which American car company introduced a compact car model called the Corvair, which faced controversy and safety concerns in the 1960s? Chevrolet, Ford, or Buick? It was Chevrolet. 
what major industry was the focus of antitrust efforts in the 1960s, leading to the breakup of several large corporations? Oil and gas, banking, or telecommunications? It was oil and gas. Which American rock band, led by Jim Morrison, had hits like Light My Fire and Riders on a Storm in the 1960s? The Birds, The Doors, or The Turtles? The Doors. What American rock band, led by Roger Daltrey and Pete Townsend, released the rock opera album Tommy in 1969? The Rolling Stones, The Who, or The Kinks? That would be The Who. In the British TV series, The Avengers, who played the role of Emma Peel, a stylish and skilled spy? Diana Rigg, Honor Blackman, or Joan Collins. That was played by Stephanie Meyer. What American inventor and engineer is credited with the invention of the computer mouse, which was first demonstrated in 1968? Douglas Engelbart, Bill Gates, or Alan Kay? That was Douglas Engelbart. What American telecommunications company introduced the first touch-tone telephone in 1963, replacing rotary dial phones? AT&T, Verizon, or Sprint? 1963? Well, that would be AT&T. Which American computer scientist is known for his work on the development of the CDC 6600, one of the first supercomputers in the 1960s? Ken Thompson? Seymour Cray or Gordon Bell? That was Seymour Cray. The leader of Cuba during the Cuban Missile Crisis in 1962 was Fidel Castro, Che Guevara, or Fulgencio Batista. That was Fidel Castro, and that was question 100, and thank you Drop your score in the comments, please. And don't forget to like, subscribe, ring that notification bell. This has been Quiz Time. Thanks for playing. We'll catch you next time.